Namaste everyone. A warm welcome to all Iranians. Just imagine if we had school today, we all would have been present in our beautiful Swagrani campus celebrating International Yoga Day. From last year, the world has gone topsy turvy with the onset of COVID-19, which has created a horrible chaos and disturbed our daily routine. All of us are at home, but none of our activities stop except for coming out of our homes to be safe. Thanks to the development of technology, it has brought everything home, but no activity in the nature has stopped, has it? God is great. My grandmother used to say, all that happens is for good. So you see, today we have enough time to spend with our family and most importantly, enough time to spend with ourselves, the inner self. COVID-19 sounds so scary, but we have also learned to care about the wonderful gift of God, this beautiful life. Yes, to take care of this body, to increase the immune system in a natural way, the hidden treasure is found, which is within ourselves. That's exactly what yoga is. A healthy mind lives in a healthy body, and to remain healthy, there's nothing better than yoga. Yoga is the journey of discovering the self. We cannot control what goes on outside, but we can control what goes on inside. That is, with the practice of yoga, we can control our thoughts and teach ourselves to live in the present. We, as Swagrani, always focus on the overall development of our students. We prepare our students to face different challenges in life. Hence, along with the academic excellence, we also have cultural activity classes wherein the hidden talent of our students are showcased. Here, Yoga 2 has been one of the most chosen activity of our students. Yoga has been included as a part of our curriculum right from the early years. Yoga trains young minds to control their emotions to develop concentration and channelize their strength and energy in the right way. Here, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Swarthalami Management for continuously encouraging our students to master their talents. Even during the pandemic, our students never miss their yoga classes, which were conducted online. I thank Dr. Dakshayan Man our yoga instructor for making our online yoga classes grand success. She not only teaches different asanas but also educates our students about its benefits. Now, let us listen to Dr. Dakshayani as she recites yoga prayer. Yoga Asanas by Yavarani. Stand straight. So we bend your right leg. 
touch your knife feet to left inner thigh slowly raise your both the hands join your palms do namaskara mudra focus one point stay there it is good for your concentration and memory power slowly relax now veena patrasana legs apart turn your right feet right side slowly raise your both the hands up to shoulder level bend your right knee look your right hand stay there improve circulation and respiration relax patta padmasana stiti padmasana now hold your right toe by your right hand from back side hold your left toe from your left hand stay there benefits beneficial for arthritis relief pain in the knees and joints relax ardha matsendrasana fold your legs hold your ankle joints slowly turn back it is stimulates function of liver heart kidneys spleen etc relax gomukhasana take your hands back catch your finger stay there it is good for hunch back good for respiratory system relax ushtrasana sit in vajrasana slowly stand on the knee hands forward take your right hand catch your right ankle slowly take your left hand catch your left ankle neck should be back push your buttocks stay there it is good for asthma back pain relax slowly legs forward paschimottanasana inhale raise your both the hands up exhale bend forward catch your feet stay there it is good for obesity gastric acidity problems relax thank you friends for this blissful topics yoga it is not new to us whenever we think about yoga we link it to physical activity as you witnessed just now but yoga is something deeper too it is all about mental physical and spiritual development by doing yoga one can be disease free No matter how old and how sick one is, you can still stretch and have a new beginning with yoga. Let us now welcome our guest speaker, Nikita Shridhar. She is a well-known yoga instructor in Atlanta, USA. A very good morning to one and all. This is Nikita Shridhar from Atlanta, USA. I am a professional yoga trainer. Before I could begin with my words, I would like to thank Swargarani PU College Management for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share my insights on yoga. Special mention to Mother Principal Tanya. Yoga is derived from Sanskrit word yuj, meaning to unite. It is true union of our will, popularly known as Jivatma, with the will of the God called Paramatma. Yoga is not limited to particular religion. rather it aims at improvising overall well-being of human lives practice of yoga includes both asanas and meditation because our ancient yogis strongly believed in the saying sound mind in sound body yoga is beneficial for people of all the ages if i have to address student community in particular by practicing certain balancing asanas such as vrikshasana and natarajasana students can achieve balance of mind and clarity of thoughts as we all know in this current pandemic situation emotional quotient becomes more important than intelligent quotients to lead a happy and peaceful life 
Moving on to practice of meditation, the main purpose of practicing meditation is to enhance the quality of our lungs and to have control on our breathing. By performing certain pranayama such as Brahmhari, Anuloma Viloma, Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, students can enhance their memory power. Although yoga is a very ancient practice, people recognize the value of yoga during these rough times because most of the doctors also propose pranayama as one of the best methods to win this pandemic. I would like to conclude my words by saying that Yoga is not limited for a day's celebration, rather it is a practice that have to be inculcated in our day-to-day -day lives. On this auspicious day, let us all make a promise to practice yoga every day. Once again, thank you everyone. Thank you ma'am for your inspiring speech. I am amazed and happy to know that even in the most of the developed countries like America, a large number of people practice yoga regularly. Swami Vivekananda is considered as a key figure in the introduction of yoga to the western world. He described yoga as a practice that joins a human to reality or God. Now let us move ahead to watch some more exciting asanas by our Ranians. Purmasana, sit straight, fold your legs, slowly stretch your hands under the knee sideways. Now slowly bend forward. Try to touch your forehead to the ground. Stretch your legs. It is good for first one. Slowly come back. Relax. Bhujangasana. Slowly come to Makarasana. Slowly join your legs. Take your palms near the rib. Inhale, stretch your head, chest, look up. Steady. It is good for back pain. Slowly relax. Dhanurasana. Fold your legs. Catch your ankles. Inhale, stretch your head, chest, thighs up, look steady. It is good for breathing problems. Slowly relax. Ekapada Raja Kapotasana, come to Adho Mukashwanasana, take your right leg forward. Place your right knee on the floor, bend your left leg, hold your left foot with your both the hands, touch your forehead to the foot, stay there. Benefits, it helps for opening our shoulders and chest. Relax. Rajakapotasana, take your hands near the chest. Lift your chest region, bend your both the legs and touch to your head. Look up. Stay there. Benefits. It helps in flexibility of spine. Relax. Halasana. Lay down your back. Slowly rise your both the legs. Stretch your legs 90 degree. Slowly, 180 degree, touch your toes on the floor, interlock your finger, stay there. It is good for diabetes, obesity and hypertension. Slowly, Karana Pedasana, bend your knees, touch your knees on the floor, catch your ears, stay there. Calms the mind, relieves stress and depression. Sarvangasana, take your palms, press your backbone, stretch your legs, try it. 
शरीर इट इज गुड फॉर थायराइड इंप्रूव बॉडी एंड माइंड कोऑर्डिनेशन रिलीव्स वेरिकोस वाइब्स स्लोली रिलैक्स से तू बंदासना ले डाउन योर बैक फोल्ड योर लेग्स कैच योर एंकल्स slowly inhale rise your buttocks touch your chin to chest stay there it is good for respiratory system and back pain slowly relax chakrasana take your hands back near the shoulder press your palms and lift your body upward neck should be back stay there it is good for heart problems relax thank you my dear friend that was superb yoga is not just about exercise but also involves the right way of breathing it is called pranayama the practicing different types of pranayamas we can get rid of so many diseases It is like throwing the toxins out of our body. Breathing sure seems like a natural cleanser. I am sure that you all will start practicing pranayama from tomorrow itself after watching our annual perform this. Pastrika pranayama. Sit in vajrasana. Inhale, raise your both hands up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Now, abhala vati. Both the hands, chin mudra. Take a deep inhale throughout the nose. While exhaling, flapping your stomach. Exhale. 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 Relax. Slowly. Dog breathing. Take your both the palms on the floor. Inhale throughout the nose. While exhaling, open your mouth. Breathe like a dog. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Continue. These three pranayamas strengthens the lungs. Good for respiratory system. Improves our blood circulation. Release the tension. Relax. ब्रह्मरी प्राणायामा शनमुखी मुद्रा टिके डी पिनहेल वाइल एक्सेलिंग मेक ए सम मकर कंटिन्यू इट इज गुड फॉर थायराइड प्रॉब्लम्स रिलैक्स नाडी शुद्धि प्राणायामा left hand chin mudra right hand nasika mudra slowly close your right nostril inhale throughout the left nostril exhale throughout the right nostril again inhale from right nostril exhale throughout the left nostril it is one round completed continue this pranayama good for digestive nervous respiratory etc relax inhale the future and exhale the past preaches my yoga guru for a peaceful living thank you my dear friends for the fabulous performance i have now understood what yoga is yoga means addition addition of energy addition of strength and beauty to the body mind and soul by practicing yoga regularly we can definitely add years to our life and life to our years now let us watch our ranyas perform yoga in the form of dance
and two Iranians for that mind blowing yoga dance. According to me, to develop an attitude of gratitude is the highest form of yoga. I hereby extend my heartfelt gratitude to all my dear teachers at Swadhirani for doing a wonderful job with the same energy and enthusiasm, whether it is an online or an offline classes. Now you may witness the secret of their energy. Dear Anians, I wish you all a very happy International Yoga Day. Yoga is all about creating a balance in our life. It's about balancing our senses, our body, soul and mind in order to live a healthy and peaceful life. On the occasion of World Yoga Day, I wish that you should learn and practice this wonderful way of living a better life. All the best. God bless you all. Thank you.